2-3-1-7-9 here, and today I'm going to be doing a uh, tutorial on how to install world edit and single player commands on Minecraft 1.4.6. So, first, to start off, you're going to need to go to the link in the description. It's minecraftforums.net, and you're going to get to this page. And you need to scroll down and until you see um, download manual installation and click prefer it will take you to an ad fly um, an ad fly download website or whatever and then up here in the top right corner you'll see please wait five seconds and it'll count down until um, it's one second then zero seconds and it'll turn into a button that says skip ad you click that and it should um, download for you so I already downloaded it it's right here um, it won't be named single player commands but um, whatever it's named you can go ahead and push enter and then name it single player commands it won't change anything or matter I just call it single player commands alright and then you're gonna go to your finder um, I already have the Minecraft in my sidebar here, um, but no, mo normally most people don't, so what you're going to need to do to get to this is, I have it up here on the top of the screen, you go to Finder, then um, Library, then Application Support, and then Minecraft, and it should take you here. Um, you might want to go ahead and drag it down like this into your sidebar just to make it easier to get to. I've already done so. Um, but anyway... Moving on, uh, you'll have all this in here, bin, last login, options.txt, resources, saves, stats, texture packs, and texture packs dash mp dash chatch, or whatever that is. But um, we're not going to worry about most of these. First, we're going to go in the bin, and you'll have all of this. Now, first, you're going to go to your minecraft.jar, highlight it, then push enter, and go to the end and type in dot zip. Then click away from it, and then this will come up. Then you click use.zip, and it will become a .zip file. Then double click it, and it will unarchive it. And then you can, it'll give you this Minecraft.jar. You could take the Minecraft.jar.zip and move it to the trash. Um, and then you have this Minecraft.jar. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna double click the Minecraft.jar and go inside it. Then we're gonna scroll down all the way down, well not all the way, most of the way down, until we find a folder labeled meta inf. Now in most mod tutorials you will find um, you'll find that you have to delete the meta inf completely. Well not in this one, you don't de delete it, so don't delete it this time. You go in the meta inf and you will have manifest.mf mojang underscore c dot dsa and mojang underscore c dot sf delete the two mojang c's keep manifest not don't delete the whole thing just delete the mojang underscore c files move those to the trash leave manifest in there and then go back and then alright I'm gonna change this to like this alright now then go to single player commands and open the folder and you should have these ays.class, com, iq.class, readme.txt, and worldedit.jar. Alright, what you're going to do is take ays.class, com, and iq.class, and we're going to copy them, and then we're going to go in here and paste those three items. This will come up, check the box that says apply to all, and then click replace, and it will put them in there. Then we can bring this back up, single player commands. And then we're going to take our worldedit.jar and put it on our desktop. Now I'm going to take, we're, we can close single player commands. Then um, go back and you'll be, go. I'll just take you through it again. Just go to your Minecraft folder and go to bin. And then in the bin, just drag the worldedit.jar and place it in there. And then there you go. Single player commands in world edit have been installed successfully. So we are going to try this out by opening our Minecraft. Waiting for a second. Logging in. 
Do, 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 do. Okay, gonna go to single player and then create new world. We're gonna call this world edit world. And just change creative and new world. Okay, and we're loaded. Hold on, I'm like glitching out here. Okay, there we go. All right, and you should see on the bottom left, right there, it says single player commands. Um, that tells you that it's been installed. And if you do slash help, you will get this entire list of a bunch of stuff. Now, the main thing that I like about this is the world edit. If you do double slash wand, it'll give you a wooden axe, but it's actually uh, basically a very helpful tool when creating. Whoa, pig just fell from the tree. Anyway, it's a very helpful tool when creating like big things. Um, so basically what you can do is you can like right click with this axe and it will say first position set to and then the coordinates. And you can right click another place and then you could do double slash set and then the ID of the block you want. I'm going to do one which is the ID for stone and it will give you stone or like a rectangle wherever you did it. Um, there's a bunch more commands that I'm not going to go over, but that's the main thing that this mod does with world edit and stuff. And you have single player commands where you can, like, um, kill all these mobs near you or fly or, you know, move certain amounts. Like, you could copy this tree or, let's say you built a house, you could, um, copy the area around it and then, um paste it somewhere else and then destroy your new house if you don't like the location that you're in so yeah it's a pretty cool um, mod um, but yeah that's gonna be just about it guys um, I hope you enjoyed this video like subscribe all that stuff and yep that's it for this video I will see you later